this ssd come for the data recovery so in the crucial when we connect this ssd when we open the ssd it will be look like this okay so when we connect with the ssd to the computer what it is showing we will see so first of all we will connect the sata cable to ssd then we give the power and check it is powering on or not so we are giving directly sata connection and we give the power here so we will wait then we will check here it is detecting or not so here you can check no new device found when we go here and we go in device manager here also not detecting so it is not detecting the problem may be power related issues so we will remove from the power and we remove the sata and check its power is okay or not so we will connect with this ampere meter this is 5 watt ampere meter we will just give the 5 watt to check the power is going on or not so we can assume that it is power is going inside and it consume 0.07 ampere okay 0.07 ampere means the power has not open no short maybe some other problems may be there so this is the one problem when we connect to mrt also in port 2 this is port 2 mrt when we connect on mrt port 2 we will go in mrt so here is the power off we go in mrt ita2 here is the off and busy everything when we power on the power is on but it is not busy means maybe the sata may be problem maybe or firmware issues may be there so this is no power not power on so what is the problem that we have to find it out this is we have check here on okay there is no so we will found the sata pin first we will check the sata connection then we will go further so this is we will found something we will check this on the microscope and i will show you what the continuity is sata pin to become so this is first sata sata to be gone to mcu then though both controller will work power section most of the case it is okay because it consumes 0.07 ampere so we will go on the SATA connection and then second video I will show the SATA connector what is the problem here okay so this is your SSD NVMe SSD okay this is SATA connection okay here is a ground this is 2RX 2TX and 3 pins are ground so this pin when we check this pin is connected or not so we will check this connection through here first pin is here so we will check here and up to this capacitor point to be th this is a line one line two line three line four line this line you have to see that it is connecting here see this is coming okay this second pin is also coming see so this two line is okay now we will check this is a ground no problem these these and three pin are ground so no problem this pin you can check here the continuity is not shown means the track is open i think and this continuity is also not come see so we will check here the small track is there you can check here small track it's open i think so the line is not gone from here to this capacitor so this two pin c1 c2 and it's gone to directly mcu you can check the mcu it's going so this line is not open so it will be not detection the so two rx two tx pin number one is here you can see the notch is here so pin number one two three four five six seven is there like that this the tracks are there and these two pen you can slowly check it is open here from here it is open not connected this is okay but this is open so we will make a jumper from here to here okay this is the problem when we press here it will connecting but it is not connecting you can check this see you can check this also it is also not properly connected it is dry so we can solder it or we can make direct jumper this two pin you can check it is not connected properly okay this is not connected properly so it is giving error this is okay this is okay this is okay this is okay so we can make a jumper also or we can make a solder also like that so this, due to this mismatch this track is open i think so this is not connection properly so we will make a jumper and then we will see the case okay now we are connecting on channel 2 again then we power on and check see power on then now see DRT DSC has been come now we go to auto detect hmm? we will check the SSD model 
supported in MRT we will give the driver and we will start utility it is connecting ok now we will go in uh, data explorer and we will do the data recovery option we will go in data recovery and we will go data explorer it will start the utility new task in a new task we will give the name of the task if you want APTA2 uh, there is next 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 and finish so it will ask me the manually giving the sector number so we will find 120 GB manually sectors we will give the one 120 GB manually sectors number that is recorded ok then it is open the structure you see there is some firmware issues but the, my data is been open so I can recover whatever the data you need you can start recovery this is a case studies of SATA connection damage and also there is a firmware issue also but my data has been open and we have recovered the data of this SSD so this is a step by step process so this is a case study of uh, PCB related issues and there is a firmware issue also so whatever the data you need you can make a backup ok oh, thank you if you want to learn about SSD recovery or if you have any queries you can contact us thank you